So I was sent on a mission to go and purchase a tuna fish sandwich from 7-Eleven for a new video um, feature that Jamie's going to be doing that is exclusive to our Pop Creative Media newsletter subscribers. And I'll put the link in the comments or in the description below so if you want to check it out and subscribe to our newsletter. Uh, you can go ahead and do that. But I don't know where my wallet is. So I literally um, left the register, ran to the car and grabbed this little satchel or pouch full of quarters. And I'm gonna hopefully have enough quarters to pay for, for the food I'm, I'm buying. Uh, I not only have to get a tuna fish sandwich, but I also have to get um, Reese's peanut butter sticks as uh, a reward for Jamie because she already is uh, anticipating she's going to need to clean out her mouth from the stench and filth of a tuna fish sandwich because I forgot to explain this all. This new feature is uh, once a month, Jamie is going to try a brand new food that she's never had before of things that most normal human beings have had. So tuna fish sandwich is the first one she's going to try. Okay, I'm here, so let me go and see if I have enough. Wish me luck. Hooray! So we had enough quarters to pay for this food. $8.26 worth of quarters went to the local 7-Eleven. So uh, you're welcome 7-Eleven. You do not have to go run to the bank for change for a while. Um, man, that's, that's a lot of quarters. Uh, unfortunately, that means we can't go parking on the streets uh, with metered parking for a while until I find some more quarters. But uh, I'm happy that we have it. I'm sorry I didn't really explain um, what was happening. I was like kind of in a rush and I, and I was like, nervous about the uh, not having enough quarters but uh, for me and Jamie's uh, our, our real jobs we have a production company called Pop Creative Media and so we have a monthly newsletter that we put out and one of the little features that we're going to add to this newsletter is a video of Jamie trying new foods and if any of you know Jamie she's got like a list this short of foods she's actually tried in her life she's very picky and also very opinionated about food and um, it's almost like on a weekly basis someone will discover that Jamie has not had something that most normal people in in their 40s have had in their lifetime so um, we have uh, different foods that she should as a good red-blooded American should have had by now um, so um, each month she has agreed to try us one of those for the first time and so if you want to follow her adventures um, just subscribe to our newsletter and next month's newsletter will have that video um, link again is in the description and if you want to see what foods she doesn't eat you can go to her Instagram page which is not gonna eat that so at not gonna eat that and she posts pictures of all the foods that she sees either me or our friends or family eat around her that she's not gonna eat so um, this is what we got we got water so that she can uh, wash down the tuna fish sandwich and of course her reward Reese's sticks um, as far as uh, today goes um, I noticed that I've been really, really sleepy again. And I don't know, um, now that I think about it, I think I understand what it is. I thought it was, oh, maybe it has something to do with my medication again, but I didn't change the dosage. So then I was worried, like, did I take two doses by accident and stuff? And so um, I'm sure I did not though, because I, I've marked, I got those little pill boxes and I marked the days on them so that way I can visually see if I've taken them or not because I keep forgetting. Um, but we had uh, a little bit of alcohol last night. We took uh, my mother-in-law to dinner and we had some shochu. So maybe that's what it is because you know as, as I had learned alcohol uh, can work as a depressant and can affect uh, people who are you know taking medication and stuff or 
anxiety and stuff. So maybe that's what it is. Anyways, um, I don't have a whole lot much more to say. Uh, I know every day is a lot, so it might be, you know, there might be some days like this where I, I, I haven't thought much about stuff. Um, but just know that I uh, am excited to film this thing with Jamie and her eating tuna fish sandwich. And as funny and as strange as that is, uh, it's really awesome. And I'm so glad that I found her and that she's in my life because I get to go do fun stuff like this with her. And uh, I think it's really cool. Ah, that's something that's interesting. Okay, before I leave, um, one of the things that we really commit to doing is showing our true personalities in our business. So prior to this, I would have thought, oh, you know, you got to fit the mold of being professional and a business always looks, you know, very straight laced and within these boxes and parameters of, you know, uh, in our website and stuff has to be like very like educational or, or impressive and all that stuff, fancy. But um, that's not who we are, like we're not, <laughs> are, arguably we're not professional um, in the sense of, you know, like well put together and we're, we're fun, zany and creative and whatnot. And uh, some of the stuff about us is weird. And um, the moment that we uh, embrace that and are unapologetic about it and put that forward, the more comfortable we are in that the right people who we want to, who would want to, um, you know, work with us or be around us are the ones that are gonna, you know, see that and appreciate it. And it's almost like a, a filter system of, um, you know, getting the, the the people you should be around um, that I guess that's what I'm trying to say is if you know who you are and who you want to be and what type of people and and you're wanting to get the type of people that should be around you in your life put out that authentic real you to to the world um, because then that will help that's almost like a a nice little natural filter for you because the people that don't appreciate that kind of personality or that kind of quality of person that you are and that would um, kind of suck the life out of you or take away your energy or not work well with you then um, they're not gonna appreciate they're gonna see that who you are and and you know not attracted to you so that's good you don't have to s filter through all these people that might not be a good fit for you um, so in a world where when I grew up uh, I was always trying to put on this persona and impress people um, and try to be something that maybe I might not authentically be um, in these later years of my life especially even more recently I've seen the benefit and value of just being your authentic self and um, even if it feels like ooh, is that is that cool is that culturally acceptable? Because <laughs> um, I was nervous about that, but uh, as you've seen in my in my videos, I just put it out there and say, "This is me," and it's worked out pretty good. So that's my thought for today. All right. Hopefully, we'll see some of you sign up for our newsletter. Aside from Jamie's uh, monthly food experiences, we'll have all kinds of other fun stuff on there. Helps you keep in touch with. Um, the different projects that we're working on and stuff. And it's a really, really great newsletter. So I hope you do give it a shot. All right, bye. All right, well, that's it for today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Um, hey, can you do me a favor? If you like the video, can you hit that like button for me? And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe too, so that we can continue on this journey together. All right, and uh, hey, if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. All right, I'll see you tomorrow for another daily vlog. Bye.